guys welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here then welcome so glad to have you make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can see more videos from me and you guys can be a part of this family today I am going to be showing you how I curl my hair in 10 minutes I still work a full-time job and I wake up early in the morning so I'm not a girl who spends a lot of time on her hair in the morning and I've gotten so many questions on how I curl my hair and it's super simple, super easy. Again, it takes 10 minutes. I'm about to show you how I do that. So stick around and keep watching if you want to know. So this is what my hair typically looks like after a shower and after a night of sleeping on wet hair. So to curl your hair, um, I always do it the day after a shower so that I can have it last for a good two or three days before I wash my hair next. I'm just going to talk you guys through some products that I like to use after a shower and before curling my hair. So the first product that I like to use is this Living Proof Nightcap Overnight Perfector. So I will use this stuff right after my shower and I will just do one squirt of it and then all over throughout my hair. This really helps my hair to be extremely soft and silky. After the first time using this, the next day I was like, oh my gosh, my hair has never felt so silky before. So I really love this stuff because it keeps your hair feeling super soft and who doesn't want soft hair. So the second thing that I use that I'm actually going to use right now before I curl my hair is this Kevin Murphy heat he is the Kevin Murphy heated defense leave-in heat protection for your hair so this is just a heat protector and I will put this in my hair before I curl it you need to be protecting your hair when you're putting heat on it right now I'm just going to brush my hair this side always is more knotted than the other side tell me how that happens once your hair is all brushed through you are going to use a heat protectant and what I love about this one is it is a foam look at that I'm just gonna take this and just put it all throughout my hair the first thing that I do when curling my hair is I will part it down the middle in the back I'm not telling you that this is like the way you should be curling your hair but I've had so many questions on how I curl my hair, so this is just what I do. I mean, in the morning, I'm not really looking to spend so much time on my hair because I still have like a normal job, so I get up super early in the morning. The first thing I do is I start in the back. I just take this like top section right here, and I'll have about this, this big of a chunk. The curling iron that I'm using is the Hot Tools Professional. I'm pretty sure this is one and one fourth inch barrel. So this first piece in the back that I'm starting with, I'm going to curl towards my face. So you're gonna have your clamp in the back. I'm curling my hair through this viewfinder on the camera. So I hope that this is making sense, but you're gonna curl it towards your head. I mean, you're gonna curl it towards your face and you're gonna let some out, curl back up. And I always leave about an inch, if not more of hair out. And then I bring it down like that. This is actually pretty difficult to do without a mirror right here. So I'm going to see if I can find a mirror to put up here. Okay. So I'm just going to show you with the same piece. Um, I got myself a mirror, so I'm not just curling it in the viewfinder so I can see it a little bit better. But yes, just with the same piece, I am going to curl towards my face. And I like to really focus on the root so I have some volume. And I leave about an inch, inch and a half out. So then once you hold it there for a few seconds, you're going to pull straight down. And then I like to just kind of straight in the ends a little bit. So I'll show you again with another piece. So I focus on the top half of my hair and I leave the bottom section just to be straight because you're not really going to see those pieces. And this is how you curl your hair super fast is you don't really focus on the bottom section. Focusing on the top half, I'm going to take another strand of hair. This piece I'm going to go away from my face. So I like to, with every other strand of hair, I like to alternate the way that I turn it and that gets it that really messy beachy wave kind of look. Again, I'm leaving it on the root for a little while to focus on that volume. Curling up a little bit more, leaving about an inch and a half out. So then that's that piece curled. 
I'm going to throw those in the back. And I like to leave them curled. I don't really um, brush them through just yet, just so they can hold that curl a little bit longer. So the piece that is like directly above your ear, I was told by a hairstylist to straighten this piece towards your face because it frames your face. I know a lot of people like to curl it away. I personally like to curl it towards my face. I think that that is true, that it really does frame your face when you do that. So I'm on like my last section of hair, which is this front piece. And as you guys can see, I have some shorter pieces right here. They were bangs at one point. I'm going to just take all those shorter pieces. I'm gonna try to gather as many short pieces as I can. And I'm gonna focus on those last. So then with this piece of hair, I'm gonna curl it away from my face. So with these shorter pieces right here, and I'm going away from my face. And I only curl them once. So just one twist around. And then I do the same thing where I let it go and I straighten the bottoms. And I'm gonna leave all of that to rest while I do the other side of my hair. So now that all my hair is curled, and again, I just want to show you for reference like how much hair at the bottom I'm leaving. All of this I did not even touch and that's on both sides of my hair. Because once you kind of zhuzh it up and you run your fingers through it, it's all going to look like it's curled and this is how you save time on curling your hair in the morning. I, it literally takes me 10 minutes to do my hair. Um, if you can see by doing this side, it took me like two minutes to do. After I'm done curling my hair, I'm going to flip my head upside down and just kind of like shake it and like smush it in my hands like this with my head upside down. So just for a reference, I'll show you what I do. So I kind of just go like this. I hope that you can see this. But I kind of just run my fingers through it and then flip my hair back over. Here I again am just running my fingers through my hair. These are my curls but I do like to put a product in my hair so that it makes it look very textured. This product makes it look super good. It makes it look like beach waves. So again this is the Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hair Flexible Texturizing Hairspray. I love this stuff. As I'm spraying it in my hair I kind of do this. So I kind of pull the pieces apart as I'm spraying it. Okay, so now that your hair looks crazy, all you're gonna do after putting in any kind of texture spray that you have is, again, just fluff it, tweak it, then I'll go through and kind of calm it down. After that spray, I do get a lot of flyaways. Okay, so that's basically how I curl my hair. As you guys can see, this took me like no time at all. Super quick, super easy, and you guys can't even tell that I didn't curl these bottom pieces. I would say that the key is to alternate your pieces. I curl every other piece going alternate ways. So some going towards my face, some going away. Okay ladies, so it's a couple days later, two days later since I filmed the video that you're watching, the hair curling tutorial. And my curls are still lasting. This morning all I did was brush my hair and I used the Kevin Murphy texturizing hairspray again and just did it in in the ends and kind of fluffed it up a little bit. And yeah, my curls are still lasting. So hopefully your curls last this long too. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching and just wanted to give you guys that little update. If you guys have any questions about my beauty routine or anything, leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up because it really helps support my channel and subscribe if you aren't already. I will leave all the products that I use in this video down in the description bar. I hope you guys recreate these curls. If you do and you post a selfie, make sure to tag me so I can see your hair. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!